Hi, this is Mark at Ding Dong's Garden. This is Japanese willow. Japanese willow, uh, I guess it could be a basketry willow for giants because it grows so fast and the rods are so big, it'd be very difficult to weave. Just to give you an example of how fast growing this is, this is, uh, this cutting right here we put into the ground uh, last February and uh, it took root and it, it leafed out and those, those tiny leaves became these huge branches over the last six months. Um, and that, these, these branches are probably, oh, 10 to 12 feet tall now. Uh, this is very useful for any, for any kind of structure you need to make. So if you wanted to make a, uh, a living fence or where you would just, you would just cut this and then, and then take this and put it straight into the ground. Or if you wanted to make a dry fence, kind of a woven fence, you could you could cut these and then and then dry them out. But you, as you can see, they're very thick. So, uh, but but what I really like about the Japanese willows is how how much they 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 look like bamboo. They very they've got very long, thin leaves that often have a, a little bit different color on each side of the leaf. So when the wind blows them, they, uh, they take on a uh, kind of a nice fluttering effect. You can see here, you can see here that the, the color of the willow changes as you go down the rod. So at the, at the upper part, it's kind of an, an orangish brown. And as you come down, it, it uh, changes color to green. And like I mentioned on all our videos, you can, you can, the willows are very easy to propagate. You just take a cutting and you put it in the ground and as long as there's enough water and sunlight, it will grow and it will grow fast. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of uh, fertilizer or nutrients. Um, they're just really fast growing trees. But if you want to grow them for their special characteristic, like in this case, uh, if you like the color of this wood, or if it was curly, or you wanted to use it for basketry, you would always have to cut it back to the ground, or or you could cut it higher if you like. You can you can pollard it instead of coppicing it like we do, but you'll always have to prune it because the first year wood is the special wood. That's why you do this. Um, often I talk to people about willow trees, and they they imagine them as a large uh, tree by the river, uh, and and you can you can grow them like that. But if you want to to harvest the wood and use the wood in a practical way, or even have kind of a, a beautiful hedge here, you would always have to to coppice it, which is when you cut it back to the ground, or pollard it when you, which is when you. Uh, uh, you you trim it a little bit higher. It's that first year wood that's the key part of this. This is Japanese willow. It's a beautiful, fast-growing, elegant willow tree.